Hello everyone and welcome to a visual basic tutorial. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is pretty much create a login screen. So it's going to have like a username, a password. If they input the correct username and password, it will take them to the next stage of your software, whether it's a menu or just to the software itself. This isn't a like a register. It is a set username and password that it's embedded into your software. So if you're looking to create like a register form and stuff, that's not going to this is not that tutorial. This is pretty much just a hard coded username and password box. If the text is right, if the username and password is right, it'll take you to the next stage of your software. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We're going to create a new project here and we're using a Windows form app.net framework um, project. Let's go next. And we're just going to call this YouTube tutorial two and you see you're going to see here i've already got a youtube tutorial and that's because this is the second time i'm recording this because i forgot to um press record on the actual screen recorder which is always great so let's go youtube.net uh, framework 4.7.2 and let's hit create now this is going to create our software um project first thing we're going to do is i'm going to run through this quite quickly as it's just the design side of things um so we're just going to make this look um, pretty cool so first of all we've got our background um, all of these color codes will be in the description below um, our form is going to be non uh, our start position is going to be center screen our name of the form let's rename this form I'm going to rename it to frm login so that just stands for form login and just hit yes on that and then we're going to find our text and we're just going to name this to login as it will still show in the task manager um taskbar even so that's that sorted so that's what we're going to do now we're going to create a text box like so that's a little bit too big actually we're going to change the um, font size to 10. Um, we're going to set this to the same color as your background. So if you're using the same colors as me, use the same number. If you're using a different color background, use the different color. Obviously, if you want to go for the style that I'm going for. At the moment, all we're doing is styling. If you want to go straight to the coding part, go to right here, wherever the number is at the bottom. Um, and that'll take you straight to the code. All we're doing at the moment is making it stylish. So if you're interested in how to make your program look, then just keep watching. But if not, skip. Right. So we've got our um, username bar here. Under name, we're going to call it txt username. And then we're going to go to text. Text. Here we are. And we're just going to type in username. And we're going to change our four color to web and white. Um, next, we're going to get rid of the border style. And we're going to add a panel. The panel is going to be web and white. And also the four color as well. Um, I just seem to do it. I don't think it either makes a difference, but um, it's just one of those things now just for this moment in time i'm going to set the border back to fix single just so i can see how big this needs to be um, perfect and then we're going to change the size of this um, panel to one okay great and then we can get rid of the border again so let's change the border style to none Okay, next so what we're gonna next what we're gonna do is we're going to go for a picture box. And we're just gonna place this little picture box. Um, it's a little bit too big. I think a little convoy just went past my house there. Um, then we're going to hit image and we're going to import our username icon. 
So this is going to be this one. Now you're gonna see it's way too big, so we're gonna go down to size mode and we're gonna change that to zoom, and then it's gonna fit in there nice like this. Now we're gonna copy all of this and just paste, and then we're gonna move it just below the um, the others here. However, obviously now we're going to go to name and we're obviously going to name this the txt password. I believe I changed it. Yeah, I did. And then we're going to go to text. And we're going to change this to password. We're then going to go to the image and we're going to import the padlock. Okay, great. So let's go border style non, border style non. So there we have our basic username and text field option. We're going to add another picture box here just because it is right above us. And we're going to stretch that out just so that the duration, let's move everything down. Once again, I'm just going to add in an image. This is pretty much all just for design purposes, guys uh, and girls. Um, obviously, once again, it's too big. So we're going to scroll down to size mode and we're going to change that to zoom. There is our um, little box. So we're going to bring that down for a little bit more. Perfect. Now we're going to add in two buttons. Now this is where the coding is going to start to begin shortly. Uh, actually, we'll do one at a time. So this is going to be our login button. So login for me is going to be light blue. So we're going to change the color to light blue. We're going to change the flat style here to flat. Um, we're also going to get our four color to web and white. And then we're going to change this text to login. And the name of this will be BTN login. We're then going to copy and paste this and we're just going to put it next to each other. For the color, because it's an exit button, we're going to make it a nice red as red normally symbols exit or danger or whatever um, flat style is flat let's go to text and we're going to change this to exit and then down to design it's going to be btn exit anything that has a function it's always good to name so obviously we haven't labeled the picture boxes because there's no real point um, it would just be pointless really so i'm just going to shrink these this down now to a decent sizes we don't need a huge login form it just needs to be pretty basic i'm just going to check that i've got this to start up in the center screen which i have so what we're going to do now is we're going to whoopsie what have i done here we're going to go to uh, project add form and then we're going to change this to frm menu now this can be whatever you want it to be so this is going to be the next stage once you've logged in so for me it's going to a menu so we're going to hit add um, and then once again, I'm just going to go FRM menu um, and I want it to start in the center location. Um, and just so it matches, I'm just going to quickly um, add in a back color here. Um, text is going to be menu. Um, on and then I'm just gonna pretty much we just got a pretty standard button here um, which I'm just gonna name all doesn't need to be labeled I'm just quickly rushing through this as this doesn't really matter I'm just trying to 
make it look all fancy for everybody. Right, so let's go back into our FRM login now, now that's set up. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click our exit button. And the only config we need is the word end. So when that button's clicked, the software is going to end. Next, let's go to login. And we're going to type in if txt username, which is the use, which is the name of the text box for our username, dot text equals speech marks. And we're just going to name this um, admin and txt password dot text equals and um, for this we'll just put it as password why not um, then so if the username text is admin and the password text is password which is correct then what's going to happen so we're going to have me dot close which me dot hide sorry and we're going to do um, so that will hide the login form because it's me that is this is the form we're on with coding and then we're going to do frm menu which is the form we just made so that's going to be the next stage and we're just going to do frm menu dot show so that's if it works but what happens if they don't get the password right what's going to happen when you click that button it's nothing going to happen you need to put something in there otherwise we're going to get an error so we're going to type in um, else so anything else we're going to do a message box dot show open brackets and it'll put a close bracket on there as well speech marks um, login details incorrect um, yeah that's pretty much it um, so if the text username is admin and the password text is password, then it'll just go to the next stage. If it's wrong, it'll show a message box, login details incorrect. Let's check this out now then. Let's hit start. Here is our little software. Obviously this username and password is incorrect. So we're gonna hit login, login details incorrect. We can then hit exit. This is obviously gonna close it down. Okay, well that works. So let's restart it back up. And then this time we will actually enter the correct username and password. So let's go admin and password, hit login. And then we've got our next stage. Once again, I made an end button that will close the software. So that's how you create a very basic, visual basic login form. If you want to see any more tutorials on Visual Basic, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll make them for you. Um, if you enjoyed it or learned something from it, leave a like button so I can see it's helping people. I'll keep on making more. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you all next time.